Martina Hingis to serve. So Hingis to serve in the opening Lovely. game. Confident backhand down the line from Mary Pierce to take the opening point. And an equally confident overhead by Martin Hughes. Certainly struck with authority that one. So forehand cross court and backhand down the line. Winners from Pierce in the opening game. Obviously going for a shot, says the game plan. And the second overhead. So four winners in the first four points. First error from either player. 30, and certainly it should have been a forehand winner rather than a forehand error. Consequently, it gives Pierce the opportunity for an early break. Just remaining in control of the point from the baseline. Double hander from Pierce over the baseline and bringing it back to Deuce. This time she comes up with a winner with the double hander. Second break opportunity. A confident start by Pierce. Whether she wins this game or not. seen some terrific points and in only the first game third break opportunity to Mary Pierce it's one way to save a break point I don't think Mary is entirely convinced it's uh, Donna Butler the umpire not going to overrule and our third deuce of the game Hingis finally gets a game point with the service winner. Oh. Missed it. So Hingis does hold serve. He must be a little bit disappointed with that. She had three chances to break. That's Martina goes to the chair leading one love. Oh! 
Love and she opened with a backhand winner in the first game and a backhand error starts the second. Down as a forced error to Mary Pierce off the forehand. And down 15 30 now. Ingus pressuring. Yes. And another error. This time an unforced one. Mary Pierce's service action. She Certainly takes a lot of time in a preparation and has been prone to a few warnings from the umpires for slow play. Certainly not so far today. to love. We said a capacity crowd here at the National Tennis Centre at Melbourne Park. Finals for both the men and the women were booked out months ago. They sell out very quickly. And we have had record crowds in many days during the tournament, not during the heat wave, but uh, overall it will be a record. Starting to creep into the Pierce game now. She started well. Previously, Sven Groenveld. Well, it did look on the line in that replay. And the is starting to hit top form now, 40 love. After she struggled in her opening service game, saving three break points, but now going for three games in a row. And three game points to do it. Oh, it looks like it's going to be her day. Dead net court for the winner. It's Hingis 3 love in the first set.
Two good forehand winners from Hingis. 17 points, she's won now to six. Martina Rovax yesterday by going rollerblading after a stint earlier in the week at horse riding. I guess both of those occupations are a little bit dangerous if you're a, a professional sports person. Unless she got thrown off a horse and suffered no ill effects, she came through unscathed after the rollerblading exercise. And winning the points easily now. 40 love. Pierce has won only one point since the opening game. She'll love 40. So she breaks to love. Four games straight now to the number four seed, Martina Hingis. Well, this is an amazing transformation. Pierce opened the, uh, the first game by hitting a, a backhand winner down the line. And she had three points to break Hingis in the first game of the match. She couldn't do so. She was um, breaking herself in the next game. One just one point there, and Hingis held serve to love in the third game and broke to love there. So 19 points won by Hingis, six so far to Pierce. It's four love. Oh. At the moment, Hingis' ground strokes just a little bit better than Pierce. So the coach of Mary Pierce would be, I think, a little bit worried at the moment. Perhaps not so much the scoreline, but the way that Hingis is winning the points. <laughs> and Pierce still hasn't won a point since the second game. This is a remarkable turnaround. Another one, another race, that's three. Three love games in succession coming up. Eleven winners to three in favour of Hingis. Ah. He breaks the grass. That's her first point. That she's won since the second game of the set. Again. He just holds. And races to a five-love lead now in the opening set of this women's final. And that's the way she started the match. With a backhand down the line. Cross court there. Let's hope that that can just regain for her a little bit of confidence. He's been totally outplayed so far in the five games completed. Ball. Certainly in the last four.
last. Mary Pierce has some game points to get on the scoreboard. The first she's had since the first game of the match. Be a huge roar if she manages to win this point. Too good, great shot. On well, the ground strokes of Martina Hingis, just too good for Mary Pierce at the moment. Forehand winner down the line there. It's 40 15, still game point to Pierce in the sixth game. Just missed it. Her Pierce gets on the scoreboard at long last in the sixth game and it's taken her 20 minutes. Well, that will at least give Mary some confidence and try to make Hingis serve it out at least. She opened the match. Clean winner. Off the backhand side down the line. First double fault for either player. Break opportunity to come up to 5 2. Eight unforced errors to 12. I beg your pardon, 8 to 3. 8 to 3. Mary Pierce has made obviously more. <laughs> well, she does break for the first time. Five two. Hinga still leading in the first set. Yes, played with consummate ease. She had plenty of time, and comes up with a double hander over the highest part of the net. Well, 
they get into the match and start umpiring. 15.30. now and two set points for Martina Hingis. And that is the first set in just 26 minutes to the number four seed. Six games to two, Hingis over Pierce. And I think it would be fair to say one in comprehensive fashion by the youngster. 16 years, three months, 26 days. Aiming to become the youngest Grand Slam champion in the Open era. That began in 1968. Well, the point's coming still fairly easily to Hingis. He's totally out playing Pierce from the baseline. And she can match her on the power stakes as well. Thirteen unforced errors to four. Thirteen to five now. serve for the game and the Hingis bandwagon presses on one love in the second after taking the first six games to two <laughs> nice forehand there from Pierce only five forehand winners from her so far Matching that by a forehand error. Oh. Well, she needed a big first serve. Well, she's only winning the... Uh, Point off a first serve, 31% of the time, 5 out of 16. Right. That makes it a little bit 
better. More importantly, it makes the scoreboard better because it gives a game point to level the second set at one all. Fingers taken wide. Forehand winner of formality. Oh, yes. Double hander. Gives it a game. And that winner probably more than any other in the match so far. Pleased Mary Pierce. And it's not to come on that she's back in this match. Still the errors column though hurting her more than most. 15 unforced errors to four. Double faults for the match, both against the name of Martina Hingis, and one in this set, one in the first set. short from Pierce but the speed of Hingis was so good that she managed to get to it and hit a winner from it herself. You can see where that landed and she came in clubbed that away for the forehand winner. Second forehand error that Hingis has made in the match so far. Pierce just blocking the return, but it was too short. Hingis comes up with the winner, holds serve, and leads two games to one in the second set. Shot, Pierce picked it up and then Hingis comes up with the winner and even brings a smile, I think a wry smile to Mary Pierce's face. Well, just how do you beat her? Could get there by Pierce, but Hingis was there for the volley. surprised but it was in really in
for the first ace of the match. And at 15.30 down in the second set, it couldn't have come at a better time. He's had very few, shall we call them, free points off the game of Hinga so far in the match. Hanging in. Led in the second set, two games all. He is certainly well on top in total points. One forty-two so far to twenty-eight by Mary Pierce. About twelve each. The second set. Got it right on the paint. He is trying to see if she can see a mark, but called good by the linesman and uh, the umpire Donna Butler not going to overrule. Yes, right on the paint. Oh, that is a smashing forehand. He is just left stranded. Back into the shade. Asks for the towel. Temperature forecast top today, 25 degrees. It's approaching that now. Oh. Oh. Oh, just a hint of an opening now for Pierce. He's only broken the service of her opponent once. That was in the seventh game of the previous set. And three chances to break in the opening game of the match. And as he read the pass, it was there for the volley. Wasn't a dead net cord like Martina got late in the first set. And she anticipated down the line. The forehand oh. volley is the winner. That's out oh. and that's game. Fingers goes to the chair with a lead of three games to two now in the second set. Most important for her to win the early points in just about every game if she's to stay in this match. Absolutely sensational. Seven 
seven backhand winners now. Seven to five. to tell from that angle but uh, it's Defensive lob by Hingis. It nearly found its target, missing the baseline by only centimetres. He's pretty quick because Pierce dropped that one pretty short. It bounced halfway up the service box. Now in four for the set for Hingis. Coach just behind her. Ball. certainly has the fans on her side. And I'd love to see her take this match to a third set. Six backhand winner. Giving her a chance to level the set. Oh, dear, oh dear. She chases down everything. Looked like Thomas Muster did yesterday against Pete Sampras. She's never beaten at a point, and Pierce could just stand there. Races in like a terrier, and nothing volley from Pierce, and Hingis puts it away. of court coverage and racket work. The 
game point, break point. 2nd set and leads 4 games to 2. And you would think now with a vice-like grip on the match, the title and a slice of history. Out. The double score yesterday, in which Martina emerged victorious with Natasha Zvereva with 6 2 6 2. She may uh, duplicate that today. She won the first 6 2. Leads 4 2 30. Love here. in the second set, the title almost in her hand. Oh. A double. So, if 
cards just not falling Mary's way at the moment. He served two doubles, both in this set. but the exit is broken. She just wins the first two points of the game and she hasn't had to put a racket on a ball. And that brings up match point. In fact, three of them to Martina Hingis. Three championship points. There it is. Hingis marches into history. The youngest Grand Slam champion in the open era. 16 years, three months, 26 days. And a convincing win over the former title holder here in Melbourne, Mary Pierce. 6-2, 6-2. And the win coming up in just 59 minutes. Wow. <laughs> well, first I'd like to congratulate Martina. Uh, she played a great match today and great tennis during the two weeks, and um, I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of that in the future. Congratulations. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit disappointed in losing today. Um, you know, winning here two years ago, I know what that feels like, and I really wanted that badly today, but... Um, Martina played just a great match. Too good for me today. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorite tournaments. I always have fun coming here and playing and competing. Uh, you know, the weather's usually great here, and um, I always have a lot of fun. Um, i like to thank Paul Nachnamy and all his staff uh, for making this such a wonderful and special tournament for me. Um, also, the Corel WTA Tour, all the sponsors, Ford Tennis Australia, um, and all the others, of course. And um, all the ball boys, all the ball girls, and of course the lines people. <laughs> <laughs> you have to thank them too. <laughs> um, and also I'd like to thank everybody and say hi to everyone at home that's watching me, um, and especially my mom and my brother. Um, I also like to say a few words in French just to everyone in France. Um, <laughs> Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, merci beaucoup de rester debout très tôt le matin pour m'encourager uh, à la télé. Uh, à très bientôt à Paris. And last but not least, um, all my friends and everybody over there who's been with me and cheering me on the whole two weeks every day um, for supporting me. Thank you very much. Um, Also, all my fans here and um, all of you for coming out during these two weeks. <laughs> you guys have been um, really great. Thank you very much for being there for every one of my matches. Um, you guys have really helped me a lot. Thank you. Yeah, first of all, I would like to congratulate Mary too for her great performance during all, all this tournament. She just Great, uh, had a great comeback this week, and she just played great tennis. She made a really hard life to meet this at this tournament, and especially in this finals. Congratulations! <laughs> then special thanks to my mother, who supported me all these 14 years I was practicing, and she just made everything. <laughs> 50 years maybe. <laughs> no. She just started as I was two years old and I just started to walk and she gave me the racket and put it and just play. <laughs> so 
and thank you for everything and all these people which helped me out this week too. Um, just thank you all the crowd. They were just great support these two weeks for me and I always love to come here to Australia and it's a great win for me and I always like to come back and just win another title and yesterday I had already won in my doubles so next time I have to play mixed doubles so maybe <laughs> I'm gonna win that too. <laughs> But I gotta get, give somebody the chance to win another win too. <laughs> and <laughs> um, just thank you, Paul McNamee, which made just this great tournament organization was just great, and all the stuff which helped out to make this wonderful tournament to me. And I'm just very happy I could play great tennis out here. And thank you. Um, for sure, I'm gonna be back here next year and defend my title. Thanks. Thank